The boat behind me is Princess's new Y85. Now this is a boat that I have been particularly interested to see because this is the first of a new collaboration between Princess, their naval architects Olozinski, but also Pininfarina, which is a name you may find familiar because they've designed a lot of very exotic cars, including Ferraris. So they've had a big hand in the styling of this boat, which is why I'm taking a walk down the outside because it is a particularly attractive boat. But uh, as ever, we're gonna head on board and we're going to take a look around the whole thing and we're going into all areas so the guest accommodation the crew areas the engine room all the decks and so on so let's head to the back head on board hopefully that's giving you a quick look at the outside which i think is worth taking in on this boat but uh, the interior is particularly impressive let's go so we board as ever by this high low bathing platform and you can see that Pininfarina influence straight away I think with the way that this has all been designed and curved around and then in this beautiful metallic grey so almost before you've even stepped on board you're starting to get that influence of this little princess logo they put on here as well it's a nice little detail up here well you've got your usual after cockpit layout with a big overhang for plenty of shelter but again look at the styling they put into this wet bar just here the way this is all wraps around the twin tone colors that's gorgeous as we head on inside this is a really great interior now there are a few things worth mentioning before we even get inside one is they've done an awful lot of work on the lighting on this boat and these are giving you different modes they're all programmable and you can choose for like a tv mode or a dining mode and that puts emphasis or dims the lights appropriately and also princess are doing a lot of work with nam who are a very high-end hi-fi company and they if we have a look in here you'll see the little nam system just at the bottom but that is a fully integrated system so the whole boat is designed from the outset for nam hi-fi uh, and that comes as standard so that is a really top-end hi-fi system big windows as we come to expect from princess i love this lounge area here that's really good and of course you've got seating opposite as well so very social area and then the dining table is up here as it is at the moment it's just a nice round table but that does actually expand and another interesting thing is that this whole window section will drop electrically so if you want to sit here and have a bit of breeze coming through from your doors you've got it the galley is over on the port side and what they've done with this, this is at a size of boat where some people might be owner operators, some people might be fully crewed, some people might be somewhere in between with just like a stewardess. So what they've done with this is they've made this open. And in fact, you can have stools here if you want to to give the full bar experience. But you'll see there's a line here and that, at the touch of the proverbial, will rise up. So that if you want to close this area off, you can do. And that can then be a completely separate crew area. We'll drop that back down for the moment. So in here we have Miele cooking equipment and um, there's a wine cooler in this one. This is a fridge and freezers and there's also deck access so that if you are on a fully crewed boat, this can be all closed off and then the crew can either come in here if they're serving food, that kind of thing, or if they need to go out of the boat without going to the area, they can do. So let's head on around a little bit further. This is nice. This is a lovely bit of design. We're gonna go up towards the front, first of all, on the main deck. Another thing you get at this kind of level is a proper day head on the main deck. So rather than having to go down and share a head with one of the cabins, this has got a totally separate toilet just there. And then this is the bridge. So there's a nice little area here for the crew or for anybody who wants to come up and join in the ride. And then your actual helm of course is here it's all glass bridge it's got a full electronic management system on here as well so you can use this touch screen to get to whatever you need to get to so that manages the whole boat and then this is all glass bridge across here so we've got navigation screen and then this again is a management screen but you can configure these as you wish there's um, another screen on that side as well and then this beautiful gloss black dashboard and then matte black up here so you get no reflections. Side access door so people can go straight out onto the side deck and it's got the touch screen for the air conditioning systems as well. Cool, let's go on back and we will have a look at the lower deck and we'll find that entrance just around here. 
I like this glass panel they've put in here. It's a smoked glass panel, but it just throws a little bit more light in here. It opens the boat out a little bit. We're going to head forward, first of all. I love this high gloss dark wood in here. It's very, very classy. Let's go up to the forward cabin first. Now, something that I can demonstrate in here is that lighting system. So we have these touch buttons here, and then you can choose, for example, if we hit that one, now that is taking us down to a very gentle amount of illumination, so if you just want a little bit of dim light here at night, you can have it. This button then takes us to another mode, which gives us all this subtle backlighting, and then another one brings in the overhead lights. And of course you can, you can configure that how you wish. So there's a big wardrobe in here. And look at the way they've done this woodwork with these lovely curved sections like this. What Princess say is they're really going for a feel that's more like a very high-end boutique hotel rather than the boat cabin, and I think you certainly get an impression of that in here. There is an escape hatch in the ceiling just up there, so if, if you ever need another route out of the boat, that is it. And then there's an ensuite in behind here. Typical classy job by Princess. Okay, let's head on back a little bit further. There are two further guest cabins. On this side, we've got a pair of singles. In fact, you can slide one bed across to make this into a double if you wish. And uh, then this has an ensuite through here. Wardrobes, of course. And I love the detailing, like these sections at the back with the material here and then these louvered parts. That's all made in-house by Princess. And the lighting is all built in down here as well. That's very, very nice, very subtle. Now on the other side of the boat, another cabin, and this one is a double. And again, of course, it has an ensuite that's tucked behind this door. Separate shower stall, the rainfall shower. Very nice indeed. Let's head on back to the master. So back down here. And then we're gonna take a jink to the right. This is storage in here, you can have washing machines if you want, but they're also in the crew area. So of course you don't have to have them here. So, full beam, as you'd expect, but that is a really lovely cabin. And again, when I mentioned things like the curved wood, look at the way they shaped all of this around here. It's a stunning bit of woodwork. That actually curves in two directions. So it curves from there to there, as well as going around radius that way. It's an impressive bit of woodworking. Huge TV in here, of course. And some of these lights, it's got the normal cabin lights, as you'd expect, but it's also got some very clever indirect lights. And the perfect example is this one here, which looks like it's off until you put your hand under it. Look at that. How clever is that? So if you want some really indirect lighting, you've got it. At the back of the cabin, then, is the ensuite for this one. Twin sinks. You've got your loo and your bidet back there, and that actually will close off separately. Big heated towel rail. And then on the other side, there's a great big rainfall shower. Beautiful. Okay, let's carry on around a bit further. That is a nice cabin. Again, the detailing and the styling in here. Look at the way they've done this, where you've got this all beautifully covered and then the polished wood, and then they've mirrored it across there. And all those lovely, gentle curves and a little bit of wood trim down there. That's really good. Very, very classy. And that's a little dressing table with a mirror. Nice. Okay, let's go have a look around the deck areas and then we'll look at the engine room and the crew areas. So, we'll head back up here. This just looks vast. As you walk into it, it's such a big area. Very, very nice. Okay, I'm gonna head on out. And I think we will take in the flybridge, first of all. This is nice, they brought the teak steps all the way down so they're completely faced. So this is the flybridge, obviously. This one's got the sun pad on the back and it's got a crane so you can lift a jet ski or a tender up here as well of course as your high-low platform so you can have both you can have a jet ski and a tender if you wish it or you can use this area keep it open for 
sun lounges as we've got here. And this sun lounging area, you can have a hot tub there if you prefer. And there are options also with the hard top. So this is just a completely solid hard top. You can have a glass hard top if you prefer. And also there's a louvered hard top, which has slats that then will actually will tilt to let light in or swing shut. And again, you can see the evidence of that Pininfarina styling in this wet bar. It just looks fantastic. Rather than just a chunk of white fiberglass, that's a really stylized, lovely looking object. But of course it is a fully functional, practical wet bar. So you've got barbecues, fridge, there's a bin in there, and then this one is an ice maker. Excellent, let's head on forward. Big dining area and you can take the centre leaf out so that people can get in and out having to keep shuffling around all the time. So if you're dining you can have it like that, if you're just putting your drinks on it you can take the centre one out. And then the helm is up here. This is really nice because you've got the twin helm seats, but then you've got these lovely seating areas around where people can lounge out and enjoy the ride. And you might think well, that's a little bit light on instrumentation, but if we hit this little switch here. That then is your full glass bridge with repeats for everything. Very nice. Let's head on around the front. There's a nice area up there. This is can we in here, as you can probably see. Okay, so we'll head on back across the flybridge. Back down these steps. And we'll take a wander up the side deck. Nice deeply bulwark side decks. This is this drop window I was mentioning inside. So this whole glass panel here, it moves out and then down to completely open this section to get plenty of air through if you want it. And this is the side access door from the helm. Now up here, a couple of practical touches. They've not forgotten it's a boat, so there's masses of storage in here for fenders, lines, that kind of thing, so you're not drag them all back to the cockpit. And then this is a wonderful little area on the front. So you've got seating around here, and then you've got sun beds on the front, of course. And they can be lifted up as they are at the moment, or dropped flat, if you just want flat sunbathing. And if we head on again, this is all the anchor handling kit. This one's got twin winches and anchors on it. And look at the stainless steel work. The detail into this is brilliant. And this is that escape hatch that I mentioned. If you lift that up, you can see it just there. So it's just a case of pushing that open and that moves out of the way. Hopefully never ever be needed. Very nice to know it's there though. Okay, we'll head on down the other side. Again, you can see the detailing they put into this. This beautiful wood that they put on here and these stainless steel cup holders and another of those massive storage lockers for fenders and lines. Indeed, there are some lines in it. Water filler is in here as well, tucked away. Excellent. Let's head on a bit further. This is the side access door from the galley. So this is where the crew can come out and through, as I mentioned, without going through the guest area if required. And then we'll head right on to the back and we'll take a look at those crew areas and at the engine space. Okay, so we're going to go down onto the bathing platform. As I say, this is a high-low lift platform. I love the way they put the Princess logo into here. And then we enter the crew area and the engine space through here. Okay, so the first thing we find is this rather nice little mess area down here. As I say, it's an 85-foot boat, so it's just at the bottom end of the fully crewed area. So this is actually quite a decent little crew area down here. There's an area here where they can cook. Obviously there's a little cooker up here and there's a fridge on the side. Keep their own bits and pieces in. And then there is a cabin here with a single bed. And there's a wardrobe, of course, and some storage. Next to that is the toilet for the crew. And that has a separate shower stall. More storage here. And then we head over the other side and this is a twin bunked crew cabin. So you can have up to three crew in here. A bit of gear in here at the moment because the boat show is on currently so that's just been tucked away that's another access that takes us up onto the side deck so that's another way out of this area and then in here is the engine space so this is the engine room and it's typical princess well lit clean white bright and very well laid out now the engines in here are mans they're v12 and they're 1900 horsepower each which given this boat speeds of around 30 knots maybe just a touch over see the control panels for them here 
fuel tanks are outboard, they may look a little smaller than we normally see and that's because there's a much larger bunker tank further forward keeping the weight down low and central. And then again you've got that classic princess plumbing and wiring where everything is so easy to get to and so well marked. Generators are back here, so there's twin Onan generators and this is all the hydraulics of things like the bow thrusters, stern thrusters, that kind of thing. Again, all nice and easy to access. And the air chillers are here for the air conditioning units. Excellent. Let's come back out of here. And I think we'll have a little sit in here to finish up. So that is a Princess Y85. That's a really interesting boat, particularly because it shows the way that Princess are going. And they're going in a really good direction because this is a very, very nice piece of kit. I hope you enjoyed that tour. It's been great to show you around. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We've got loads more York tours coming. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.